So, here's the deal. You just booted up TF2 and you were flung into the shitty excuse for a tutorial, and now you have no idea what to do. Or, you haven't even played the game yet, but you intend to. Where do you start? Among players who have the least bit of time in the game, it's widely accepted that the tutorials are, um, how do you say, shit? But, I'm here to change that. This is the first episode of a series I like to call the TF Tutorials. For this episode, I'm going to focus on general things you need to know before you even pick a class. So, this is the home screen of TF2. First thing I'll start off with is the loadouts. By going into items, you'll see a list of all the classes. Clicking on any of the classes will show their current weapons and cosmetics. Cosmetics are items that serve no in-game purpose. Cosmetics can be bought through the Manco store, and very certain hats can be unlocked with achievements. Moving on to the other side, there's weapons. Weapons are sorted by primary, secondary and melee. Clicking on any of the slots will show all available weapons for that class's slot. New weapons can be bought in the Manco store, which I really wouldn't recommend, or through random drops. Speaking of random drops, the drop system will randomly give you items as you play the game. These items can be locked crates, weapons, or very rarely cosmetics. When an item like a weapon or cosmetic drops, there will be a picture in the top that shows you who the weapon is for. Now, the next option, the shop. This is the Manco store. This is where you can buy items. I recommend not buying anything from here because most of the things in the store can be bought on the community market for cheaper. There is one exception to this however and I'll get to that later. Now we're on to the actual game modes. Let's go down the list one by one. Casual is the regular TF2, probably where you're going to spend most of your time. We'll come back to that in a sec. Competitive is a ranked game mode that's more serious than casual. The team size is also smaller, being only 6v6. Leaving comp mode early will result in a short cooldown. Man vs Machine is a pay to play game mode. You can play this by purchasing a tour of duty ticket from the store or the market. In this game, you fight against hordes of robots to win items worth lots of money. Community servers are servers not hosted by Valve. And in training mode, you can train for each class, which I wouldn't use. I just watch my videos. Or practice games offline with bots. And finally, create your own server lets you create your own server. Now we're finally getting into gameplay, so I'm going to go through all the game modes and give a brief summary of them. Attack Defend. Each team takes turns trying to capture and defend control points. Control points are circular pads which when stood on begins to bring up a meter down the bottom of your screen. Once the meter is full, your team owns that point. This is referred to as capping. After a round ends, the defending and attacking sides switch. Capture the flag. Take the enemy's intel, a briefcase, back to your intel room. Control points. Get control of all control points on the map. First to cap them all wins. King of the Hill. Capture a single point in the middle of the map until your team timer run out. If the opposing team caps, it starts counting down on their timer. Payload. Push a cart until the end of the map while the other team defends. Once a round is over, the team switch. You'll see here that if we scroll down a bit, there are more game modes listed as alternative, but I'm only going to go over one. Payload race is basically just payload and both teams have a bomb, so it's a race. The others are just reskins of other game modes, like CTF and Control Points, with some minor tweaks. Okay, now we're in the actual game itself, but one more thing before we do. First, some things that will really help you in the long run. They are mandatory, but they will really improve how you play the game. First, go into Options, Keyboard, Advanced Settings, and make sure Fast Weapon Switch and Enable Developer Console are on. Press OK and then apply. Next go into video, advanced and turn your field of view all the way up. Press OK then apply. We're finally in game now and the tutorial at the start would have taught you the controls 
W, A, S and D for movement and 1, 2 and 3 for weapons. Now you can play the game freely, except for one thing. You may notice that you can't use chat, and here's where I go back to talking about the Manco store. To talk in game you need to have a premium TF2 account. You can get a premium TF2 account by linking your phone number to your Steam account and buying something from the Manco store. Now talking is completely optional but it does enhance the game, so if you want to talk I recommend buying something cheap from the Manco store, like a tour of duty ticket. If you have a premium account, you should use voice lines to communicate with your team easily so you don't have to stop and type it out. How you use voice commands is by pressing Z, X or Y and pressing a number button. Each letters have different callouts and you don't need to know all of them. I recommend learning voice commands once you're comfortable with the game. The main ones you should learn are the X commands, mainly X1, Incoming. X2, Soldier is a spy. X3, Sentry ahead. and the E button which calls out Medic. Using these will make your characters shout out the commands. Here's the part of the video I wish I didn't have to make. You might be asking why do I need a premium account to talk, that's a basic function in games. The reason is bots, and I'm not talking about offline bots. I'm talking about malicious bots ran by people who want to ruin the game for everyone. These bots used to mic spam, copy and paste offensive shit into the chat, etc. But that doesn't happen as often anymore. The bots are still around however, and if you want to know how to spot a bot, here's how. The bot is most likely a sniper, the reason why is because they can instantly headshot and kill most classes, though they can be other classes such as heavy, but they're most likely going to be a sniper. The bot may have stolen someone's name. The bot will be spinning randomly. The bot will instantly headshot anybody in their sightline. If there happens to be a bot on your team, don't panic. Press escape, click on the red tick down the bottom and select the name from the list. If the bot has stolen someone else's name, compare their profile pictures by pressing tab. Look for a sniper with that name, look at his profile picture and kick that one. If a bot has stolen your name, don't spam and chat. Guys, 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 that's not me, I swear, why kick? Guys, why kick? Guys! Just say, let me kick him and kick the bot with your same name, since you can't kick yourself. I know the bots are a bit jarring, but don't let that put you off the game. That's what the botters want. Nearly everybody in the game knows about them, and they're nothing more than a minor annoyance anymore. 99% of the time, a bot will be kicked straight after its first kill. Seriously, everybody's in agreement when kicking these things. And that's basically all you need to know to play TF2. Now, I know that was a lot of info to take in, but don't worry, you're not going to remember every single little thing. TF2 is a complex game, it will take a while for you to get used to it, but once you do, it's one of the most fun games you'll ever play. You'll also die a lot, but don't worry about it. The game's been out since 2007. People have had a lot of time to get good at the game, but it won't take that long for you to start topping the leaderboards. This is just the start. Okay, so uh, thank you for reaching the end of the video. Um, this is probably, you can obviously tell, my first video. Um, this is kind of just an end card. I don't have a script for this part. If I had people helping me, this is where their names would go. But I did this all uh, single-handedly. And I, I actually really enjoyed it. So the next, if hopefully if this video does well, the next... I will make an entire series out of this, like, the next video would be Scout, um, I, I know I didn't go over class specific things, and that's probably what people wanted to see, but what I wanted to do was, like, have it so that, you know, you watch one video, and then you watch the class you want to main, but, um, t I, this video took a lot longer than I thought it was going to do, I thought it was going to be done in about, like, I don't know, but this took, like, I don't know, two weeks to get all the footage and everything edited. Um, 
but I enjoyed every second of it. I re I if I really want this to, I would want to turn this into a series. So if you do, if you did like the video, uh, subscribe and like the video and share it around because that lets me know that you like this content and you want to see more. So that's basically all I have to say. And um, subscribe.